Hi guys, welcome back to another video. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove the rear trim at the back of your Caddy Maxi. So guys, this is the trim that I'm going to be removing because a lot of people have difficulties removing this. Uh, the main reason you want to remove it is maybe for cleaning. You might want to do some repairs to the back of these uh, latches here that the doors shut onto. The main reason I like to do it is so you can get underneath this trim so it tidies up all your thermo wrapping and the sound ending. So whenever you're doing the flooring or the carpeting on the edge here, you can get it nice and underneath and then you can put the plastic trim back on top and it leaves you with a nice clean finish. So before we jump to step one, what you're going to need to remove this is a flathead screwdriver or something really small just so you can pop out the plastic caps. You're going to need a T20 star allen key or hex key as people like to call it and also a t25 so you need a t25 and a t20 and a flathead screwdriver so step one is really easy guys what you want to do is make sure all the area is clear so you've got nothing sitting on top of the trim and then what you want to do is just peel off this rear seal because that's on the back of the trim here so simply just start in the corner grab it and just pull it off And there you go, now you've got the edge of the trim exposed. Right, so on to step two. Most people will have these, which are lashing points in their van. So you've got these all over the van. You have one on each side, so you've got one here and one on the other side. And this is where you're going to need a T25 head and pop that into those screws. Some might have replacement screws, it would be Allen keys, but they're mainly going to be T25. So pop those in and simply unscrew. I've loosened them off just for today, so it makes it be easier for the video. So I don't need to use a screwdriver. So simply loosen those off. And then when you get yeah, a bit more loose, you can just do it by hand, pull those out. That's the last point. As you can see, so that's around the edge of the trim there. There's some washed in there. That'll be holding bits of the trim down. So there's one on the right side and there's one on the left side. Take both those off so you get rid of the lashing points. So on to step three. This is where people make the biggest mistake. Now you've taken out the lashing points, you then simply think, oh, let's just pull it off because you get a bit of movement as you can see you think oh but it's, it's solid it's not coming off some people try and undo these the trick is there's four little plastic caps there's one here one there and two more here underneath these plastic caps there's further screws and you take those out and then you can fully pull it off so this is where you're going to need your flathead screwdriver so you can pop down on the top of those caps because they're really sealed which i'll show you in a minute and then you can get your t20 and you can unscrew them. With this close up angle, you can now see the four caps. So now you need a flathead screw to pop them off. So this one I've done earlier, as you can see, pops off nice and easy. And this is the screw down there. This is the second one, which I have just popped off. So it shouldn't be as hard as you go. That's another one popping off. And then the third one, so it's quite difficult. You just have to kind of bend it out. As seen here, like that. And then the fourth one. So like I said before, this is the stage that everybody misses and they end up pulling their trim too early and that's when you damage or crack your plastic trim. So the next step is to now unscrew all the bolts and then you can take your trim off. Step four is just to unscrew all the bolts that are inside here. So as you can see, you just have to get it in place and then just unscrew it. So what I'll do is I'll just skip through this because you don't need to watch me unscrewing them all. So if you've now unscrewed all four of these bolts fully, it should now just pop off. Let's say I've unscrewed them all. Obviously you need a little bit of pressure, just pop it over these end bits here. There you go. And now you can see it's fully popped off. It's underneath it as well. You can see where these screws are. They go into these holes here. So you can see how dirty it is. So it's really good to get this off, give it a good clean up. You might find a bit of rust here. On my other van, I did find loads of rust down here, so give it a good old clean. You can then put your thermo wrap underneath and then put it all back on. 